Hey everybody, I'm Ted from Tabax. In this tutorial, we are taking a look at the Tabax team accounts. First of all, you should never share your own Tabax account and always enable two-factor authentication to make sure that your own account is safe. The proper way to give somebody access to certain parts of your web store is to use team accounts. You can find the team accounts under settings and then team. Before we create our first team account, I quickly want to take a look at the time zone. When clicking on configure, we can choose a specific time zone. And as it says, no matter where your team is located, everybody will see the same time zone in the control panel. I will set mine to Amsterdam and then let's add our first team account. First of all, we need to give the email address of the Tabax account that we want to give access. And then we can choose what kind of permission or what kind of access we want to give to that account. And per section, most of them have three options to either just view the data, to create and also edit data, or even to completely delete data. The first thing you should do is determine what is the minimum amount of permissions I need to give to this account. It's always the best practice to give the minimum amounts of permissions to somebody for them to be able to complete the role that they need to do. As you can see here, not all the options are the same. For server statistics, optionally, you can also restrict somebody from seeing information from a specific server. If you do have a team member that is helping you with everything and you need to check all the boxes, you don't have to go through all the individual boxes. You can just click on the names and this will check or uncheck all of them. After your team member has been invited, you can see the team accounts over here. You can remove a team account. You can also still edit the permissions. It is also possible to see who has made what changes. You can go to the security log over here. Here you can see exactly what account did what action. You can even see when this happened and also what IP address. Hopefully this will help you give access to your control panel in a safe way. If anything is unclear, of course, feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, thank you for watching and good luck with your Tabex store.